Hey guys, um, so today I thought I'd just make a video because I'm bored and I just came from school. And I finished my own. So, I actually want to share with you my poems. Let me just get them. It's going to take like a couple of seconds. In my period class, we have computers, and we have to do this assignment where we make like five of our favorite poems. Yeah. So this is my poem book cover, or as you want to call it, a binder. Table of contents. Okay. This is my I am, and I'm going to read it off to you. Okay. I am funny and artistic. I wonder what the future will look like. I hear the crowd cheering for me. I see me singing on stage. I want to be a makeup artist. I pretend I'm singing on stage. <coughs> I feel a spark when I sing. I touch everything that I see. I worry about my mom. I cry when I'm sad. I'm funny and artistic. I understand how people have feelings. I say what I think. I dream about living my dream. I try to help people when I'm sad. I hope to have a good future. I am funny and artistic. Okay. Now here is... Sorry. My punny poem. Ugh. Okay. Punny. Punny lives in Paris. Punny preaches pancakes in the parlor. Punny likes picnics with ponies and pickles. Punny dislikes penguins, Pennsylvania, and peacocks. Punny poked me in the eye with the pokey pick. It's not so fun, but I had to make something up. Now here's my If I Were in Charge of the World poem. It's kind of long, kind of short on the medium link kind of poem, you know? So here it is. If I were in charge of the world, I'd cancel world hunger, heart attacks, and cancer. If I were in charge of the world, there'd be better gas prices, later school time, and less homework. If I were in charge of the world, you wouldn't have to turn off your phone during school. You wouldn't have early school times, you wouldn't have vegetables, or even lunatics that murder. You wouldn't even have to go to bed early. If I were in charge of the world, candy would be a vegetable. You would, you would be able to drive at a young age, and a person who sometimes forgot to pay their stuff, or their day was going to be rough, would still be allowed to be in charge of the world. The last part didn't make sense. But, I just want to write that. Here is my poem, my mom. My mom loves me. My mom is the best mom. My mom hugs me tight. My life. Here's my poem about flowers. Flowers are beautiful, colorful, smell good, and blow in the wind. I love flowers. And here's my picture of flowers. Isn't that beautiful? So beautiful. So beautiful. Here's my poem. It's an onomatopoeia and it's the beach. So here's what it is. Beach, listen, listen, do you hear that? Splish, splash, blah, blah, blah. Ah, did you hear all that ruckus? It's a beach. Splashing waves, people talking, kids laughing and screaming, the water ocean blue, it's a beach. It sounds kind of weird, but I know. Here's my poem about the dog. Oh, wait, I forgot to show you the picture of what I put as the beach. I have to put it on separate papers. Just two dolphins swimming. Randomly in the ocean. <sighs> My po 
told you before the use you tomorrow. And I still haven't typed any. I only need three more typed. And then I have a project I'm in my um, math and science classes. I have a project due to there. Um, I have a lot of stuff due tomorrow, practically. So wait. <gasps> no! My project isn't due tomorrow. My project's due Thursday. Thank goodness. Okay. So, there's a poem about dogs. There once was a dog who always acted like a hog, who was quite fat, who looked at a bat. There once was a dog who always acted like a hog. I have some errors. <laughs> Don't blame me, blame the computer. There's my doggy. His name is Puddles. No, I'm joking. His name is Brownie or Goldie. You can call him Brownie or Goldie, but I prefer to call him Goldie because he was for gold. <laughs> okay. I forgot to put a picture up of my cat on this one. So yeah. Here's a poem about my cat. My cat loves to play. He loves to play all day. Fun! My cat makes my day. By me. Here's my poem about my alarm clock. My alarm clock yelled at me to get up at 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. Yeah, because you know how they like burst out and like a noise. Yeah, so I put my alarm clock yelled at me to get up at 6 o'clock a.m. in the morning. That probably doesn't make sense. <laughs> But whatever. So this poem was, a, was supposed to be about my brother and sister. But since I don't have a brother or sister. Well, I do have a brother or sister. I do have a sister. But she's not in what you used to call live with me. She's on my dad's side. So she's my stepsister. Anyways, let's get to this. My cousin. Sorry about my cousin. My cousin has brown hair, and so do I. My cousin is outgoing, but I am shy. Ooh, that rhymes. I don't know. We enjoy going to San Diego and going to different places. She splashes in the pool with me. She comforts me when I'm down. I know this is funny, but we argue like a bunny. Our relationship is gentle like a bunny's paw. I like the way she's nice, and she likes the way I'm nice. But, you know, we never hate anything about each other. I imagine we will always live in each other's hearts. I want to be able to call her and say hi every once in a while because we go so far away from each other like okay so I went to my dad's house that weekend I don't go to his house anymore because it's really boring <laughs> so I told my mom she said okay you don't have to go over there anymore so um now okay on that weekend it took her um, it took her about eighteen hours to get to San Diego, and I don't know where she lives. She lives in Texas, so she had to drive from Texas all the way to San Diego. Can you imagine how long that is? Okay. So, anyways, I am in sixth grade, and school is about to be over. It is over on June 6th, and we graduate, and I've been getting good grades. Except for, um, quarter four, fourth quarter, because, um, because, um, I... I was absent a lot because I have I had this really bad stomach pain and it I stay home for like what three days <laughs> yeah that's how huge it was I had to go to the hospital five times like it was that big of a virus it was a stomach virus and he said not Normally, no kids come in for that reason. They come in for, like, a big 
it flew that's going around. So I was shocked. I was like, dang, son's a kid that had the stomach virus. It was bad because I was hurling and it was bad. I don't, my friend told me I could have died from that. And mom, if you're seeing this, it hurt like the dickens. <laughs> yeah. Hurt that bad. So anyways, um, yeah, get to my poems. That was weird how I just started talking about that. Yeah, okay. Anyways, so this poem is called This Is The Year, and this is how it goes. Sixth grade, a year of excitement and learning, challenging yet easy. I'm looking forward to getting grades. I'm excited about going on field trips. I'm nervous about getting good scores on tests, and I fear having bullies at my school. All in all, though, life is a great experience. And I can't tell you where I go to school, so I can't really show you the picture. This is my hyperbole poem, and it's called The Cat. So it's like a... Something that is not true, but you'd say it. Like, time flies. You draw a picture of a time, of a clock flying, but really, like, time's going, like, fast. When you have fun, <laughs> hopefully you did not hear that. <laughs> so anyways, here's how it goes. He's just laying back, trying to laugh. But then he said, I'm so hungry I can eat a cow. Then I said, what are we going to do now? This is my concrete poem. It's about... Oh, yeah, I'm going to show you about the picture of the cat. You see, look, I have to print these. And I'm going tonight to print them. I can't tell you where. I'll just tell you what I'm doing. Look at that cute kitty. It's so adorable. I drew it. This is my concrete poem about love. <laughs> concrete poems are where you draw an item or an animal and you write around that figure. And then you erase the figure. And it's like this. Look. My eyes are watering so bad. I don't know why. See, it's like that. I don't know how to explain it, so I just showed it to you. Alright, so this is what it says. Love is the best thing you will ever have in your long years since you've been born. Yeah. I think that statement is true because it is a real, um, it is a real, what do you call them? Statements? I don't know what you call them. <laughs> And then having table contents. So that was my poetry portfolio. Yes, I will show you the cover right now. As you can see, I love Kawhi. Oh my god! <laughs> I didn't even notice that. Mm -hmm. So, anyways, as you can see, I love Kawhi and kitties. Um, yeah, I have, oh, my cat's sleeping, <laughs> so I won't be able to show you him today, I'll be able to show you him tomorrow, hopefully, um, so give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, comment, rate, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you next time.